another episode ready to go They're gonna talk about the good and the trash and anything in between Cherishing they believe get ready for Halloween It's the horror show I know you miss those guys Tune in and find out what's on their list tonight They butcher and dissect Take apart and mutilate Listen to your two favorite brainiacs communicate It's the horror show Hello everybody and welcome to the Horror Show. Show dissects, mutilates, dismembers, and butchers all of your favorite and not so favorite horror movies and other horror related events. I'm Sean. I'm Joe. What is up, Joe? What's going on, man? Nothing. You just um, belched right before we started the show. I'm not trying to blow up your spot, but it reminded me of a funnier story, which was you, I went to Joe's house for his daughter's birthday <laughs> and he burped. Actually, I don't, I don't have a recollection of what you're about to tell. So I'm really? For this. really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, Joe was standing there grilling for everyone and he let out this enormous burp. And his dad was like, his dad and his family are all standing around and no, 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 no one is even remotely phased by this except your dad. Who's like, I'm so fucking disappointed in you, you, <laughs> fuck, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and, and, and then you were like, and then somebody at your at, in your family was like, well, you know where he learned that from? And he's like, I've never fucking done that in my life. <laughs> and then it was revealed that your dad takes medicine to actually control his fucking burps. And it's the, it was the hardest I think I laughed that entire day. I, I've never laughed harder. Because your your brother's wife was like, dude, was like straight up to his face. Was like, come on, are you kidding me right now? Get out of here. <laughs> she works at Yale. So it's like he, he, has, he can't pull anything out of her. <laughs> and, that's, and then somebody brought up, somebody was like, wait, don't you take medication for your burps? Because it was like burning your esophagus. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> I fucking love it. So mad at you about it, though. So fucking mad about it. <laughs> he's, like, he's so disappointed. In <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a fun party. Thanks for having me. And yeah, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so guys, we're doing. Uh, we're kicking off October. I'm a little under the weather, so uh, fucking deal with it. The worst sore throat of my life. From those disgusting little kids all running around touching each other and then my son touching me and, you know, that's fucking life with children and it's a fucking nightmare. It's every f- goddamn day with children. <laughs> fucking little infer- Petri dishes. Little Petri dishes. Um, so I'm a little sick. I'm a little under the weather. So we're doing Halloween 5 to kick off October and I wanted to like do some real research because there's a lot of information about this movie. <laughs> That's out there. So I apologize in advance that I don't have a ton of background information. For some reason, I have way more Halloween 4 background information in this episode. Um, <laughs> because I was like, I needed to remind myself of that to bring me into 5, fun, you know? Fun fact, I posted that we were watching 5. I had upwards of a dozen messages. That's not an exaggeration. A dozen messages of people just being like, this is the best one in the series. And of those dozen, I would say... About six or seven of them, I respond. I responded to all of them, being like, "That can't possibly be true. Like, you can't. You can't mean that." And about six or seven of them wrote back, "Like, oh yeah, I think you're. I think I'm thinking of four. Like, of course you're fucking thinking." Of four. Which also is a, which also is a, a strong claim for it to be the best in the right. franchise. But to say that five is your favorite is tr- honestly ludicrous. <laughs> So, yeah, and and I don't I may, you might not remember this, but on our live show, which by the way, thanks to everyone who came to our live show. That was it, oh, yeah, that was that was, great. That was turned up. That was nuts. Uh for that was Yeah, part- we were we were expecting a small turnout cuz like a lot of people have stuff going on, you know. Yeah. Um, we were competing with Elvira. Yeah, and uh it was a massive crowd and uh and more tuned in after the fact. So that was that was really cool. Um but dude, there were a lot of people that were like 5 is the best one. I that's nuts. That is the most insane thing. That is actually impossible. That's actually you can't actually fucking mean that. You actually can't. And I, 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 I just have to tell you that right now. You're wrong. You're wrong in your own opinion. And I know it, it, it's your opinion, but you're wrong. <laughs> you're fucking wrong. Your your brain has betrayed you. Um, <laughs> I also think that it's weird because Halloween Five's poster. So if you let me look up Halloween four real quick, I want to see what that poster is. Because if you if you were to Google, yeah, like if you were to Google Halloween five, it's got Danielle Harris in the clown outfit on five. 
right. on the poster. So if you Googled it, you might be like, oh, that's four. I like that. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. And Daniel Harris isn't in that outfit in this one either. So that's like some clever marketing, I guess. <laughs> Fucking insane. Um, and four, I guess I can. I mean, I, I can't. Okay. So in one and two, I, I was doing some research. So five is uh six oh no six years after three is four so they took a pretty long break in between three and four and when they decided to to revamp this bring back michael myers yeah um and in one and two he had only killed in both of them combined 15 people okay which you know when you're thinking about it maybe that's part of the effect of the first two right like it is and also michael doesn't get that much screen time Especially in the first one, like, and when you see him, it's only like part of his body. You don't see like you don't you you certainly don't see him fucking frolicking or floating down a river. You know, <laughs> he's he's lurking. Like, like it, it's made like a real horror movie is supposed to be made. Uh, he, he's he's like an unknown shadowy figure, right? So that plays a big part in it. And yes, to your point, like his body count is smaller, but he has an agenda. Right. He's not a mass murderer. <laughs> Well, he is a mass murderer, but he's just not, he's not tearing, tearing apart an entire town. Right. For the fuck. <laughs> or body, or bodyboarding down, down what could only be the Mississippi River. Cause you know, they're in <laughs> Illinois. It's not like they have fucking whitewater rapids, but what, what? Listen, we're going to get to that. Right, I'll save it for a week. All right. This. Um, I, I can talk about that one scene for probably the entire episode. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. Just that one scene ruins every, uh, anyway, listen. In, in <laughs> it's four, the first five minutes. It takes in, you out immediately. In four, he kills 30 fucking people in part four. <laughs> <laughs> I think mostly because he, like, destroys that entire, like, police headquarters in it. Which, I mean... He, he blows it up. Like, he does his explosions. Fucking sure. insane. Yeah. Fucking insane. So, Halloween 4 is 1988. Um, you have, And I, we'll just fill everyone into four so we can get into five, right? So Because they are tightly connected, right? They are, except five decides to completely change the last events of part four. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is why I love <laughs> I love that people call this the uh the Thorn trilogy, four, five, and six. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> uh, Halloween is my favorite movie of all time. This movie sucks. There's, there's, I'm not going to say it doesn't. But I honestly legitimately believe that the Halloween universe, the, the Haddonfield universe, is like my favorite universe <laughs> in movies. Like, <laughs> I want a spin off. Like, I just want so. We'll get into it, like the characters, but like that guy with the boots for no fucking reason. Oh my God. Like, I, I, I just want an origin story on him. Like, everything that they threw into this is so batshit crazy, and I fucking love it. The Thorn, <laughs> the Thorn trilogy, I fucking love it. Well, I have some fun information about those items, so um, I'm excited to talk about those also. And it is an insane universe. Like, um, my son doesn't watch horror movies, but he he's aware of, like, certain characters, obviously, because they're just, you know, it's all over media, right? So he obviously knows Halloween, and he has an idea of, like, what Michael Myers is and what his mask look like, looks like. So he was like, how many Halloween movies are there? And I was like, dude, that's, like, somehow the most complicated question <laughs> I've ever been asked. I was like... I was like, honestly, like, I don't know. How do you count them? And like, l really looking at four, five, and six, it's almost like a separate, it's almost like a separate f franchise. Multiverse? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like the Spideyverse, right? Like, it's like, it's part of Halloween, but is it really? Like, I'm really not even sure if it is or not. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Um so Halloween four comes out in 88. It's six years after three. Uh, Jamie Lee is out. She's a fucking major star. Now Loomis is back though. He's, he's here for it. Um, and I totally forgot in four. And I only know this because I, I was reminded in five that Loomis's new gimmick is just screaming in people's faces, just like getting as close as humanly possible to another human's face and being like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> And he ups the ante with that here. Oh, my God. It's a fucking asinine. Um, there were some great scenes, though. You have the Loomis with the burns on his face that were that changed, like, midway through, through the movie. <laughs> um, the cops that end up, like, killing, like, I'm pretty sure they kill, like, two innocent people in that movie. Because they're just wearing Michael Myers masks. They look fucking... Part four? Yeah. Um, 
And, and they bring that bit back for part <laughs> five. <laughs> Except they don't kill oh, anyone. They do. Time. They do. Um, and four was like some of the worst masks I've ever seen. And five continues. I, Dude, I, it's just alarming that they can't make that fucking mask again. That is alarming. And also the fact in five that they decided to use multiple multiple shots of the camera angle just showing like the mask doesn't fit on his face. Like Dude. it would be like uh, behind the camera would be positioned behind his shoulder. So you could just see the mask hanging off his chin. <laughs> you see so, so stupid. Like the re- again, going back to the first one, the reason that it works, like that's the, that's the most perfect fitting mask I've ever seen in my entire yes. life. Like, that looks, yes. It looks like it should be that guy's face. I, I don't know how they ma- honestly, when you think about it, like, I don't know how they managed to make the mask. So perfectly on somebody's body. But like right. this one, is just, it's like barely on his head. It's just like, why is he even wearing it at this point? Dude, the flaps are outside of the jumpsuit. All you had to do was exactly. fucking tuck them in. <laughs> tuck them into the exactly. fucking collar. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? It's honestly fucking nuts to me. It's fucking crazy to me. <laughs> it's fucking insane. And like, I feel like, and I don't know this to be true or, or anything, but you know, he's got the name, the shape for most of the movies. And it's like, it, like again, like that contoured mask, like fitting, like adds to that. Oh, the shape, right? He feels less human. Yes. He feels like yes. less of a human. Very much a human. Well, but he's not. A, he's furthest from a human in terms oh, of. Oh, okay, <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad that you are uh, segueing into this because the, uh, Loomis. Fucking, I, I love Donald Pleasance. I think Loomis is one of the greatest characters, mostly in the first two. Yeah. Come part four in this one, he turns into a fucking raving lunatic. But all he raves about is – and, and, like, Rob Zombie continued that, too. All he raves about is how this guy is not human. Like, he's been with him for two decades, and he's evil. He's not human. And then this guy, this director, who's a European director, I don't know how he got involved in the Halloween how, – how he got handed the reins to the Halloween franchise. But his one goal this, – this, this is on record. His one goal – is to human was to humanize Michael Myers in this movie. So I so to do that, they open the movie up with the end of four, but adding it actually at making it more insane because four ends with Michael Myers being shot and falling down a mine shaft. Right. Four ends with uh, Danielle Harris, uh, with Jamie, s- killing her stepmother. That too. That also. But that's, Michael Myers. That's how it ends. Michael Myers is down a mine shaft and fucking dead. Correct. Sh- shot Correct. eight million times. And then Daniel Harris standing over um, her, her dead mother with the bloody pair of scissors in the outfit for, that Michael wore. Correct. So part five starts with the penultimate scene, as, right. as so many movies do. So many sequels do. <laughs> right. Now, now, wait. Now, <laughs> before we just get into this, it already starts out. Now, you're telling me this guy, Odin Gerard, whatever the fuck is, Dominique Odin, Odin Gerard. He, he says he wants to humanize Michael Myers. So he starts it off showing us what we saw at the end of four, but also adding that they threw dynamite into the mine shaft also. <laughs> so on top of Michael Myers being shot 8,000 times, he's now also been blown up in the mine shaft. Uh, but he was not blown up in the mine shaft. Well, I guess that's true. Because he just like floated. <laughs> the mine shaft was just like a perfect water slide that went into the river, which somehow the cops was not aware of and nobody secured the parameters, which is honestly the most unbelievable part of that opening, which is already an unbelievable opening. But the fact that they all just stood in front of that building and nobody nobody decided to like, I, I know nothing about securing perimeters but yeah i would have at least been like hey maybe you should like check the back like make sure he doesn't go out a different way where we can't see him which they did not <laughs> which they did not do at all uh hey is there an exit to this completely still finished mine shaft like <laughs> there's still fucking walls and shit in it it's not like an empty tomb like it's fucking oh man so um yeah 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 so this this was also the worst performing Halloween ever. Yes, it was. 1989. So Odin Gerard's going to direct it, and let's kick it off. But wait, real quick, before, <laughs> before we kick it off, one more thing. Odin Gerard claims that Rob Zombie ripped off Halloween 5. And he says he didn't just, like, pay homage or take parts. It's a carbon copy of my movie. <laughs> 
I mean, all you'd have to do is point to Michael Myers bodyboarding down the fucking river. <laughs> and already, you're off base, brother. You're fucking wrong already. You fucking idiot. It's a carbon. It's it's not. It's absolutely not. I, I don't even know where he would get that from. I like that you call him Odin Gerard, by the way. Odin Gerard? His first name is Dominique. And it's like, oh, isn't like oh, oh, Othanin or Othanin? Oh, yeah. I had heard it in an interview, though. <laughs> It, oh, they pronounce it Odin? Yeah, that's what that's how it was pronounced. In. I, I don't know. That's how I heard I'm it. All, I'm all for it. I, also, I have zero... I have, My hearing is fucking dog shit, so it's very possible. It's uh, <laughs> They were saying it something else. Um, all right, so 89. Pleasance, again, is back for number five. Uh, this is the second Dude, to last one. He he'll gets... Make, right? he, is he in part six? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, which is surprising because of the end. But yes, he is back in part six, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that is surprising. <laughs> um, five and six are my two least watched. I'll tell you that much. Um, yes, and I just confirmed. Oh, he's abso- He plays like a huge part in part six. <laughs> oh, death. yeah. Oh, yeah. The cult. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> Yes. Also, I love that he gets top built. Like the title screen says Donald Pleasance in Halloween five, which like is if that's your cell in 1989, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, shit. You really are. You're in big, big trouble. Uh, <laughs> who played? I'm sorry. I, Don Shanks played. Played Michael Myers. Okay. I want to know who played him in six or in four. Sorry. I'm, this is not fun for the listeners. I'm sure. But okay. It was somebody else. Cause part four had that Polly Walnuts ass. Michael Myers walking around. That was like fucking hunched over. Like he looked like a goddamn idiot. <laughs> he fucking looked like that Van Zant dude. Well, that's a Van Zant, right? Polly Walnut. No. Who's the Van Zant? Steve, Steve Van Zant. Steve, is that who who plays from, from, from the E Street from the E Street band? He always has a he always has that uh, bandana. It's not a bandana; it's like a headdress. Was he the one in the Sopranos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah, but he, but he's not related to the other bands Zans from Skinner. Wait, he's not. He is not. Are you serious? Yeah, that's actually insane. <laughs> I can't believe multiple people have that last name. Um, <laughs> that's fucking nuts. All right. Well, good for him. Anyway. He just, he just released, like, a, speaking of him, he just released a uh, statement saying he was once, he, he was addicted to threesomes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, poor, poor fucking guy. <laughs> poor Stevie Vincent. The, like, the, the threesome epidemic um, strikes again. Imagine just being around that many threesomes to be able to be addicted to them. Like, I, I <laughs> I haven't been offered one, let alone <laughs> having enough offers to be addicted to them. <laughs> and looking like him. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, all right. So, part four, we get the recap. We get the <laughs> the fucking Michael Myers floating down a stream. And it's just, it just throws you off, man. I well, I, so he escapes the explosion and he's he floats he floats a good while. But I want to highlight I've never seen I would assume it's a prop, right? Because I've never seen a person float like that. If that if that was the actor doing it, he's the best floater of all time. I mean, I don't even know. I, that's actually a good question. How the fuck did they do it? I, I don't even know because I always just assumed it was shallow enough for him to just kind of like <laughs> slide down. He had to have been on something. I don't know though, but he's like falling all over himself. He looks like an idiot. He looks like a fucking idiot. He looks like a goddamn moron floating down the river. Um, so like they didn't even have the like the the wherewithal to like fix up the mask's hair before filming this scene. The hair is just fucking everywhere and wet. It looks like shit. You could say whatever you want about it being more realistic, but like no, like your hair's just down when you get out of the water. It's all over the place when he gets out of the water. <laughs> And the mask already looks like shit, so, like, at least fucking fix up the hair. I know that's a fucking insane thing to worry about, but, like, I feel like they're fighting, they're going, they're fighting an uphill battle. Like, it, you could have just done a few little things to help yourselves out. 
And you know, in the new Halloween, which we did not like, it we tore it apart. At least they explain how Michael gets the mask. Yeah. Because the fucking idiot podcaster brought it to him for some reason. <laughs> Why does he still have it here? And, and you know what? We'll find out in the, at the end of the movie. The cops fucking lock him up. The, the cops finally ca- capture Michael Myers. And they lock him up. He's just sitting in his cell with his fucking mask on. <laughs> they take the shit off of him, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and it's... Oh, man. There's a few weird things about his mask in this, too. I, and... It, <sighs> I don't and know. we already talked about how, how he didn't even tuck it in. It's, it's flimsy. How has that mask not fallen off? <laughs> I can't keep a mask on me for the fucking life of me. Like when you when you buy one of those masks and you go like trick or treating, like <laughs> put it on with the kids, like you can't fucking keep them on. They fall off. Oh my god, dude! And you know, honestly, while I was watching this, I was like, you know, is Halloween 2018 really that bad? <laughs> <laughs> it is. But is it though? Because like. If if like if you're looking at the standard of this entire franchise, like it's honestly kind of a gem. I'm gonna be honest. Like <laughs> it's it's I, dude, I can't even look at these fucking masks that they threw in in four and five. I don't remember the mask in six, but four and five masks are like just uh, absolutely, <laughs> dude. And and I watched videos of both pe- like people that were doing the effects in four and five, and they were both like. Yeah, we asked for the original mask, and then we got uh, not that. So then we had to, like, try and fix them and paint them and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, I, millions of dollars to make these fucking movies. There's not much else that you're p- spending money on. Like, you could get the fucking mask. <laughs> they said they got the masks for this one, like, a week before shoot time, which is a whole other thing. But, uh, and, and they, 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 they weren't even, co- like, they had blonde hair, and they were, like, peach toned skin so they had to like paint them themselves it's like, <laughs> i feel like if you're making a halloween movie that that's like the first thing you should lock down right like before you secure anything before you do absolutely anything that's what you would fucking do for sure oh yeah yeah um so he he stops himself in the stream and he finds a hermit um, who is living in a shack with a parrot. Um, yes. He's just a guy that... <laughs> dude, Haddonfield, what a place. <laughs> There's a fucking hermit. It's 1988, and they're, they, they're telling us that there's like a hermit that lives in a cave over there. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Um, the best part about this is they actually reshot it because the original hermit was a young guy and the producer didn't think it was scary or effective enough. It didn't, no, not not that it was scary enough that it didn't add to how evil Michael Myers was because uh, of the age. So they reshot it with an older hermit (laughs) to make him more evil, which is insane because this scene, (laughs) nothing about this scene is good. Nothing. This scene is so (laughs) unnecessary. And when I read about, because that scene is called the Doctor Death scenes, right? The younger guy, yeah, yeah. Because they did shoot it, and apparently they found them and will be re-releasing them, um, in yes. the in the next fucking thirty dollar DVD cut that they'll try and sell to everyone, um, which I will buy. You probably just for this scene. I mean, but like that guy, that younger Doctor Death character was supposed to like be reading runes and like kind of play into this like. I guess the Thorn trilogy type of thing, like he, like using magic and shit to bring Michael to life. That that's the only thing that would make sense here. That's the, that is the only thing that makes sense. Instead, we get this hermit who <laughs> Michael tries to kill, and he's like, "Oh, geez, take a nap." And then it goes one year later, and Michael just gets up and kills. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the fact that he was there for a year, also. He is so close to like the crime scene. Like how it again? Would be the first why is nobody thing- searching for the body? Like the the fact that the well, like probably the most I don't I don't think it's an exaggeration or a stretch to say this is the most notorious human being <laughs> yeah. in this town's history, right? So the fact that you like blew him up and you and you're just like, well, that's probably the end. <laughs> you, you don't even you don't even attempt to find a body or like dental records to confirm it. He's just living. He's living two feet down the road for an entire year. God, dude. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Like, <laughs> or even being like, hey, maybe we should check in on that hermit down the road. Because <laughs> see if he saw anything. Maybe see, see if anything floated up. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Haddonfield's not a city. They most certainly know about the hermit that lives near the mine shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of him like <laughs> for an entire year. And, and then it's so anticlimactic. One year later, just gets up and kills him. Joe, I rewound it because I was like, wait, did I miss did I miss something? Like cutting back to a year is kind of crazy. <laughs> like I was like <laughs> I was like, unless that scene ended with you know what I mean? Like I was like, that scene. And then, no, that was true. It was a year later when Michael woke up and killed him. <laughs> Dude, we need to we need to crowdfund a movie. And the plot is just that one year of Michael's life. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just fucking... A little, a little rom-com. This guy just diddling Michael while he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think Michael slept the entire year? Yes! What, dude, Michael wasn't... Dude, Michael was not, Michael was not awake during that year. He walked into the, the house. Yeah, but then, like, he and was he collapsed. shot a thousand times. He listen, was shot. Listen, <laughs> that guy, the, you, the hermit didn't nurse him. The, the, you think the hermit nursed bullet wounds? I, I, well, how, what the fuck else? I mean, that's why I think Michael just sat there, just <laughs> fucking. She just slept for a year. For a minute. Fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that's so dumb. <laughs> Any way you cut that scene and how you want to interpret it, it's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Michael was shot eight thousand times and then fell down a mine. <laughs> yeah, but but that's happened to Michael yearly, and nobody's ever nursed him before. That's true. That, but that's why he was just sli- he just sleeps for a year. <laughs> he just he sleeps it off. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I'm on board. I mean, what else does he do? Well, that's why that's why the Dr. Death idea, like, makes sense, right? A guy with magic, like... Cause I, I, I completely agree. That makes way more sense. Resurrecting him. Right. I'm not being dead serious. It makes way more sense than him just sleeping for a year. Or, or if he wasn't sleeping, just bonding with this guy for a year, then just wakes up and kills him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's fucking that's a it's fucking bizarre, man. It's fucking bizarre. Um uh so one year later we go to the children's psychiatric ward where Jamie, who is Daniel Harris, is now a mute and also, I guess, not evil. <laughs> Correct, cuz the, the the stepmom didn't even die. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. Forgot about that retcon. Uh, she's very much alive. <laughs> she's very much alive. Jamie is not evil, but now has a, a psychic <laughs> connection with Michael. Yeah. So she, <laughs> so she can see through his eyes and like feel and <laughs> shit. Uh, I got to tell you something. This movie alone is the worst Halloween, just because of the amount of time, total time, that you have to sit there. And listen to this fucking idiot, Danielle Harris, scream and fuck. Dude, worse than the Babadook kid. Way worse than the Babadook kid. I disagree. Joe, Hard that's disagree. fucking nuts, Joe. She's fucking... Oh, tw- sh- ah, like, uh, Sean, Sean, think about what you're saying. Fucking did you Babadook just call me Paul, the by the way? I did. Yeah, I did. I did. Because you got me so flustered <laughs> by, that, by that take. That's an honor. That's an, <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> to piss you off that much. <laughs> First time in show history, the take is <laughs> maybe that uh, that flustered that I confused you with Paul. <laughs> oh man, I just couldn't stand it, man. It, it's like half of the movie she's just screaming, and it's just, it's just not. I'm not down with it. It's not okay. <sighs> See, I actually thought she was the best part of the movie when she starts fucking talking. Yeah, she's fine. Dude, like the way that she conveys fear, I, I think she's like a legitimately good actress in this Listen, movie. I just didn't need to hear it the whole fucking time. Put her on, <laughs> put her on fucking mute. Also, Michael has a thorn tattoo in this movie, which he does, he does. Not explain. They show for one scene. <laughs> 
But it probably would have made sense if they kept that fucking scene in, right? That that one scene that they cut was probably integral to the entire rest of the plot. Hey, Joe, um, that uh, that thorn tattoo, they didn't even know what it meant when they put it in this movie. Thorn, guys, thorn was not planned. At all. <laughs> FYI. No one knows what the director was doing when he added them. And he didn't. When they asked him, he said he wasn't sure yet. <laughs> Imagine putting this guy in charge of a fucking movie. <laughs> a beloved franchise. Yeah, he also he also um it was written but they had a good script written and then I guess he got it and was like, "No, I want my friends to write it. Me and my friend yes. are going to rewrite That's it." True. And and they started filming this without a full script. It was too close to the start of the film date. So they started filming and they were just like, we'll figure it out. Fun fact. They don't. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so Michael has a thorn tattoo. Um, Jamie is in a hospital, a psychiatric ward, but I I guess she's allowed to kind of come and go as she please because she goes home for a little while. I I mean, it's the least secure (laughs) Psychiatric ward and all that. People, people enter through the windows, unannounced, with pets. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's the funny, it's the funniest observation. Um, it's fucking nuts. Um, uh, we got Rachel. She's back. Um, she is uh the the, the foster sister. Although throughout this movie, they keep calling them her stepmom and stepsister. Which is not, which is not accurate. <laughs> they're they're foster parents. Foster, yeah, yeah. very different. Also, um, <laughs> so just heads up to Mister uh, Dominique Odin Gerard or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, so we got Rachel. Who um, uh, there's a showering scene in this where we get a little little glimpse. I, all I have to say about that is just like. The 80s butts, man, were just the best. <laughs> <laughs> the tan lines, they're just phenomenal on the butts. Uh, and I'm just, we, we just have to bring that back, I think. 80s butts? Have you ever seen a fucking tan line in a movie in like, I don't even know how long. <laughs> no, see, that's actually a good point because everybody's fully tanned. Yeah. In their beds. yeah. Give, good us observation, the, yeah. Good, give us the tan lines. They work for me. Um, and uh, we get Loomis back, too, which is uh, if I were Jamie's parents, I'd be like, you need to get this fucking guy away from okay, my fucking so, 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 great point. Great point. This has always been the case for Loomis, but I think it's, <laughs> it's like, exemplified here. What the fuck? How, how does he, how is he everywhere? And why has nobody thrown him out yet? There, there's no way he has any pull to be in any of these places he's just fucking interfering with everything he's not a police every act officer. of investigation he's not a police officer he doesn't work at that hospital right he's michael's not, he's not, gone he michael's he's failed in every aspect <laughs> when, you, when you think about it he is an enormous failure he should he should have been jailed like he's like blood's on his hand at this point he's been blown up but like <laughs> and, and there is there is a scene in this movie where he's screaming in jamie's face and the person who actually works at the children's hospital is in the most quietest, soft-spoken voice I've ever heard. Being like, uh, sir, you, you shouldn't be yelling at me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What is, hey, what is he doing here? Hey, Loomis, as you know, it's been a fucking year and she hasn't <laughs> spoken a single fucking word. Again, I mean, it's the same thing with Michael, though. He's like, Michael, talk to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that is the epitome of Loomis's uh, character trait, right? Just... <laughs> He's such a shitty doctor. You can't tell that they're not gonna. <laughs> can't understand that they're not gonna talk to him. Yeah. Why won't these mutes answer me? <laughs> tell me, tell me what you're saying. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, dude. He is like two inches from Jamie's face. Even if I were the director, I'd be like, "Hey, dude, can you just like fucking back it up, like <laughs> seven fucking inches?" <laughs> Like you are not sympathetic in this scene at all. Who is go- who's going to like you or respect you? <laughs> Screaming! In I love it. Face. I love it. 
But yeah, and then he's always still with like the, the cop and like, just being like, "Remember when your daughter died?" Like, <laughs> dude, I, honestly, throw him in jail at that point. And then he's in like the school play, screaming at people. <laughs> he he disarms an officer at one point. Like Lewis should have been killed so many times. Uh, you, do, it, it, like it, for sure, those cops were like, <laughs> just the minute fire. we yeah. see Michael, and fucking sh- just fucking sh- just fucking shoot Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get rid of this fucking menace, you fucking idiot! It's so funny. It's so funny because Loomis is legitimately like my favorite character in part one. Like I, I think he's so perfectly written. And then when you get to this point, you're like, God, what a fucking idiot! <laughs> oh my god. Um. <clears throat> so Loomis can't get any information on Jamie, but he he does see that Jamie has some type of link with Ma- Michael. And so that's what he's screaming at her about in the first scene. Is like, but like, how does he know that? Just you know, Loomis intuition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. That's, a, that's that's all he's going off of. <laughs> because, because we as the viewer, like we know that Loomis knows, but like when you really think about it, how the fuck does Loomis know that? <laughs> Why are other people like okay with that? <laughs> yeah, and and Jamie, Loomis, uh, uh, no, she doesn't. You fucking moron. It's yeah. not a thing. Jamie does um, signal to Loomis though to check on Max the dog who. Yeah, who at the same time is barking at Michael Myers, um, right? But then Max is fine. Max is fine. Yeah, and everything ends up okay, um, including the police officers who go to check on them. And for some reason, they play like a Keystone Cop Cir- to circus music, <laughs> fucking slide whistle, like woo woo. woo. <laughs> <laughs> You for these people should be fucking killed. Imagine just editing the movie. Like, I'm sure this guy, this director is like right behind your back, and you're like, "Hey, are you sure we should leave this in? This looks fucking ridiculous." <laughs> like, you know, we don't play this sound effect ever again in the movie. Why? Why are we playing it here for these police officers? No, it needs sure, to be. That's a- the only time they do it. And honestly, they made them such bumbling idiots. It would have like. They should have kept that gimmick that it did it every time, but for some reason it's just just this one scene. <laughs> oh man, um, the, the, those two those two cops have my favorite line in the entire movie. It comes later. I, um, hopefully, I remember. Okay, that. Um, they have my favorite the, line. It's got to be at the barn, right? At the one hundred percent. The fucking is. barn party, baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do, do I- <laughs> three three fucking jump scares. <laughs> 20, 20 fake outs. <laughs> Fucking relax. <laughs> well, the dog starts barking again um, over at Rachel's house, and Rachel is back inside feeling safe and confident. Um, she uh, f- finds a photo of Jamie has been removed, though. Um, and, yes. and, or no, a photo of Jamie got like punched. It was punched, it, it hadn't been removed yet. Um, it was punched with some blood on it. She's like, what the? And then she gets stabbed in the heart. Thank God they brought back the the foster sister to be murdered in the first <laughs> fucking 10 minutes of the fucking movie. She's like the most likable character, too. <laughs> She's fucking great. And by the way, there is another character throughout the movie that should have been Rachel. And it, what, what do you mean? The character Tina shows up who is rachel's friend okay okay so, so i did want to uh, talk about this because i think i think what you're about to say i could have just let you finish and we would have solved what you're about to say but instead i'm going to interrupt you and say i think what you're about to say is why did it, it is so ridiculous that you killed off a main character just to introduce another character who's like oh hey i'm Rachel's friend. I don't know where Rachel went, and just have her follow her around for the rest of the time. That's a hundred percent right. Rachel? And 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 for some reason, have these like emotional moments with Jamie, which would be so much more satisfying if it were Rachel <laughs> and Jamie again. <laughs> right, right. And then at the end, like it would have been higher stakes because you've already been invested with Rachel an entire movie before this. And then Rachel and Jamie have the bond, and, and literally, literally, they're, they they have Tina show up, and she's just like, "Hey, where's Rachel?" Doesn't find the body, and then we just follow Tina around for the rest of the movie. The rest of the movie. That's literally, dude. 
she she walks into fucking Rachel's house and is like, oh, where's that dumb bitch Rachel? And then we just follow <laughs> Tina around moving forward. It's fucking And they not- get introduced to one of Tina's friends. That has nothing to do with like, anyone. It's like- <laughs> that's such a bizarre like character it's arc. the most frustrating thing i've ever seen in a movie like because like that whole ending makes so much more sense if it's the the foster sister who is coming to love jamie as a real sister and like protecting her and you know what i mean and like in those situations in those final 30 minutes when you have a yeah. When you have a bond <laughs> with the two characters, it makes so much more sense. And instead, they were just like, nah, let's fucking stab her. Um, and I guess Rachel did not know that she was going to be killed so early until she started filming. They did not let her know that. Um, so they did not let her read the script, that means, until she signed on. So, which is very, very, well, probably because there was no script. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Uh, you probably, they probably like were like, oh, you're back, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, hey, by the way, we're making it up as we go. And you're also dying today. <laughs> and the original kill scene was he was going to shove a fucking knife down her throat. And she was like, can you please not do that? <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, fine, we'll stab you in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I did, that is kind of awesome that she said that. I, I do, too. I mean, there, she has no right to, like, be like, like, who cares? What the fuck? It's, you're not that attached to the character. But, like, if I were bent out of shape, I would for sure be like, no, I'm not doing that. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, she's probably mad that they sprung up. She probably took off, like, so much time from everything else she was doing. And then she gets there and, like, hey, by the way, you're dying. Like, Oh, for sure. The first five minutes. That would 100% be like, okay, well, you're not. Shoving a knife down my throat. <laughs> some giant. It was, probably was some fucking giant prosthetic that they were like, "All right, we're gonna put this in your mouth." <laughs> no, no, you're not. You're gonna figure something else out. You fucking idiot. <laughs> some dork walks up to you with like a fucking giant thing. And you're like, yeah, we're just gonna <laughs> put this down your mouth. <laughs> not, not today, guys. <laughs> anyway, um. Speaking of uh, Rachel's two friends, Tina and what's her name? I I don't think the other one even gets a name in the movie, but uh, (laughs) they show up and they're not worried at all about their friend missing. They're they're just they just leave. They're like, oh, man, I can't wait to party here all weekend. They don't party there all weekend. Um, They just leave the house and we have to listen to this fucking dog bark for fucking 20 minutes. (laughs) So they're like, oh, that's weird. The dog barks a lot. Everyone is like, the dog barks. So, oh, doesn't Tina answer the, or Tina or Rachel answers the phone. It's like, yeah, my dog's just having a great time barking at squirrel. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Your neighbors must fucking love it. <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiot. Um, Tina uh, also dates a guy named Mike, which, you know. Yeah. Don't name a guy Mike when you have a fucking character named Michael in the movie. It's fucking annoying. Um, who is a legit fucking greaser in 1988. <laughs> Dude, like, to the fullest. <laughs> the old don't touch the car bit. Dude, if, like, the guy puts his hands on and goes, Dude, if you touch my fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Why I oughta. <laughs> Sleep back here. Also, the guy's fucking disgusting looking. <laughs> Dude, in 88, if you walked in like that, people would be like, get the fuck out of here, man. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? <laughs> At best, you're doing an Andrew Dice Clay gimmick, and that's even fucking gross in and of itself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jamie, though, is having like Freddy Krueger esque like visions of Michael Myers in the boiler room with sheets and shit hanging around. Um, yeah. but also she's, she's actually in a boiler room, uh, oh, which dude, <laughs> she is actually in a boiler room. For some reason, when you said that about the sheets, it just reminded me of this. We talked about Loomis being everywhere. Yeah. Jamie, when at like the ver- sort of near the beginning, Jamie is having like convulsions and they're about to perform a tracheectomy on her, which I, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> It seems it seems like this actually happens quite often, so I don't know why this time they're like, let's shove something into her her throat. But uh, Pleasant stops them. <laughs> Pleasant isn't a doctor, like like he is a doctor, but he's not he's not a surgeon. He stops them. He's like he's like, do not do this. She's 
She's having a vision. Like, what? My ex- Fuck, who let you in here? <laughs> my my ex-wife is a psychologist. She would never stop a surgery unrelated to the brain and be like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you don't, don't do that. Like, she'd be like, whatever you, hey, whatever you guys say. His, his reasoning is she has something to tell us. <laughs> We're just trying to fucking save her life. Are you kidding me? Imagine she dies. He's like, she was trying to tell us. Something. <laughs> In court. Holy shit. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, again, back to the security. Like, this poor girl should honestly be, like, locked up, like, locked up somewhere. Because she, she just roams and has visions. And instead, she's sitting on top of a boiler <laughs> in the fucking basement. Uh, Loomis screams in her face again. And again, it's about trying to get information from Michael. And she's, he's, like, also saying the most weird shit to her that like and there's always people around like it's never by themselves you know like there's always nurses around and this time he's like they there's a dug up fucking grave <laughs> like fucking traumatized and she's supposed to be i think she they said her she's eight eight or nine in this i forget yeah it's you definitely think, what do you think he's gonna do with the body <laughs> <laughs> loomis what are you talking about like this is psychotic dude this is honestly the most psychotic shit this is more psychotic than michael myers this is like also in this universe this has happened before myers has done this in every movie like loomis you know what's happening you fucking why do you need her to tell you that that's actually a great point and um hey guess what he actually does know because (laughs) she doesn't say anything of course and then he's like all right i'm gonna go to the old myers house (laughs) he's screaming screaming why are you protecting him in his face (laughs) (laughs) which again like even if she was protecting him the last thing we know that she did was like reenact his murder basically when he was a kid. So it's like, yeah, and he's been asleep for a year, which means she hasn't had contact with him for a year. So uh, Loomis, what the fuck is your game plan? <laughs> you should probably figure out something else to do other than scream at a kid. And he does. He, he goes to the old Myers house, which is always a fun trip for these movies. He's just, just check in over there. Um, and we also see the Thorn Tattoo guy show up. Now, Thorn Tattoo does not appear in four. Uh, it does appear in five. And again, they created this guy uh, wearing black cowboy boots, steel-toed cowboy boots, um, a black duster, all black clothes. You never see his face, but he does have a Thorn Tattoo. They put this in the movie, and they did not know what it meant or what they would do with it. I love it. I love it. Figure it out. Figure it out later. (laughs) They just did it. And it's uh, to me, honestly, I'm going to say this. It's kind of impressive (laughs) because I couldn't just make something up that random and put it in a movie, (laughs) put it in a movie without knowing what it meant. You know what I mean? Like I'd have to have like, I do. I do. (laughs) I mean, Kudos to the guy. It makes me like six more, to be honest with you. That somebody was like, we got to fucking figure this out. (laughs) Some poor fucking guy was like, I had to fucking (laughs) write this guy's wrongs. An already dead franchise. And be like, listen, we fucking put this in here. You got to, you got to figure it out. And like, tie it together. So, honestly, I like six way more now. But... Oh, sorry. When they introduce, uh, it's fine. When, when they introduce this guy, like you said, they don't show his face. They just like <laughs> to film it like this is so stupid. The the camera's just focused on his like boots and like his lower torso, right? Mm-hmm. And then it cuts to Loomis walking. So it's almost like if you weren't paying attention, you'd be like, "Oh, that was Loomis getting off the bus." <laughs> it, it's such a quick shot that it would honestly be easy to miss. Yeah. And I feel like this is this director Dominic's uh, attempt at like securing another fucking film because he didn't have many actors. Sure. I'll tell you that much for sure. <laughs> Be like, oh, you'll never figure out what I meant. Uh, yeah, hey, buddy, we'll just make it up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just like you did. We're just gonna fucking make it up. Uh, uh, cut to the longest scene in the movie, which is teens stealing alcohol, and uh, this fucking. This 43 year old greaser who I thought was an adult, uh, but he's not because he needs this kid to steal beer for him. 
fucking alarming. Um, Which when when was the drinking age changed to twenty one? He might have been eighteen. It uh that's fucking. I mean, I think it was. I don't know. I think it was in the seventies, right? Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. I think it was like seventy. Oh no, eighty four. Holy shit! Right. God damn. He was under twenty one. He was under twenty one, but he looks fucking forty. Um, he, uh, he goes around to the back to get the beer, but he is killed by our boy, Michael Myers, who, uh, <laughs> who Michael, Michael, Michael drags a, uh, three prong hook across his car first. <laughs> oh yeah. To piss him off first. <laughs> it's just so funny. Cause when has Michael ever done that? Like dude, just to piss off somebody. The also, shit- why is he stalking? Why is he stalking them? Again, to your point, if they just kept Rachel alive, you'd be like, okay, this makes sense because Rachel has a uh, connection. Right. Uh, Mike, Jamie. Michael is his, at his most Dr. Evil in this movie. Uh, in terms of like drawing things out and like stalking people and like, dude, uh, like, it's, it's almost exactly like the Michael Myers scene with, like, Seth Green, where Seth Green's like, hey, why don't we just shoot them? <laughs> and, and Dr. Evil's like, no, 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 like, you're an idiot. <laughs> and he's like, no, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> like, they're going to get away. This is like, uh, dude, Michael driving the girlfriend around? Okay, so, so <laughs> to that scene... Cause so First Michael, off, Michael kills Michael drives so great, dude. It's but amazing. The girlfriend, the girlfriend gave that greaser a mask that she wanted him to wear later. Right. I only bring that up because Michael wears that mask, even though he he already has his own mask. So why is he putting on that mask, right? But that mask is the stupidest mask. It's like I, I wish Michael just wear that mask for the rest. Dude, of the so did I. Yeah, so did I. Having that guy, <laughs> having that guy kill you wearing that. It's, fucking I, I wouldn't even be mad. It's like it's the definitely. hobo it's like the hobo smoking a cigar mat. <laughs> <laughs> and and esta- imagine getting killed by that. And already established in four is that Michael Myers masks are very very readily available in this town, which is bizarre. But they are readily available. And I even wrote that note here, right here, and I was like, weren't these masks available? They are, and we'll see one later. So the fact that he he did not need to change his fucking mask whatsoever, um, but after killing him, he does change his mask to the the hobo smoking a cigar mask, and picks up the girlfriend. Yep. Michael then starts driving like a fucking stunt driver. He's driving, and then the girl's like, "Hey, I need a cigarette," and he, he fucking slams on the brakes. Which, like, dude, what? Like, he actually stops to get this girl cigarettes. It's honestly the most insane thing <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Like, just floor it forward and lock the doors, right? Like, that's like. Uh, uh, instead, he slams on the brakes, puts it in reverse, and waits for her to go get her cigarettes. He waits in the fucking car to, for her to go buy cigarettes. <laughs> he waits. He waits for her. And it's not even. Is it even. Is it Tina? Yes, it is. Is it Tina? I can't even remember. I think it's Tina. I think it is Tina, yeah. Um, and Tina comes back out, and then... Or is it Sam? Was the girl's name Sam? No, I think it is Tina. I think it is Tina. Which, like, none of this fucking makes sense. What does it matter? Tina Tina means nothing it also. It does, it does not. <laughs> he doesn't know who the fuck Tina is. Right, right. That, again, uh, all of this is irrelevant because he, Michael has always had one like agenda, and it's to kill his family. Right, and then while she's why getting, is he why is he doing this? Yeah, and while she's getting the cigarettes, he he switches to another mask. He switches back to the Michael Meyer. He like puts the you see this. He puts the car apart and grabs his other mask and puts it on. So now he's sitting in the car wearing the notorious mask, and then ninety cops show up. Because they got a tip from Crazy Jamie, who who had an an, an an event at her Halloween party where she she, she had to <laughs> fucking pl- fucking Donald Pleasance makes her describe a, a woman with giant cookie <laughs> cookie tits. <laughs> <laughs> What 
what do you what do you see, Jamie? Cookies. Oh, he's a, he's at a bakery. No, 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 no. They don't sell cookies. It's a woman with giant cookie breasts. Oh, and one of the cops is immediately like, "Get down to the gas station." <laughs> Look at Cookie Breast. <laughs> Make an eight-year-old girl describe that. <laughs> Drilling her to get that info out of her. <laughs> While she's like hanging over a balcony in front of all her peers. <laughs> oh my god. So all the police show up and they know who they're looking for, right? We're we're look they know they're looking for Michael Myers. Yeah. Michael Myers is sitting in a car, right? <laughs> Fucking 10 feet away from... Dude, there, there. how many cops showed up? Dude, there's like 13 cop cars pull up. Right. And, and, and they all get out. And none of them notice Michael. And then, you know, fucking Tina looks up and Michael's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane. Oh, that's fucking funny. Imagine, imagine being like, you know what? This movie is so much better. Fucking that John Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> the best in the series. Dude, imagine imagine hearing the terms cookie tits and you're like, oh, I know because like, they're talking about oh, that. the fucking <laughs> gas station on uh, <laughs> Highway 42, right over by where the fucking hermit lives. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Haddonfield is a cesspool. <laughs> Fucking hermits. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Anyway, so Michael's on the loose again. Um, oh, and Jamie can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine writing the script and you're like, all right, you know what? This is so hard. Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> it's halfway through and being like, listen, we're in over our heads. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to wrap this up, so it's just coming back. <laughs> she can talk again. <laughs> She's arguably had more traumatic experiences with fucking Loomis the last, the last like, three days than she had her whole life. No way she's coming out of a traumatic trance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> uh, and Jamie also escapes. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie escapes. She's on the loose. So is the guy from Thorn. Myers is driving around in a fucking greaser <laughs> car. <laughs> what a fucking film. What a fucking... What a fucking... <laughs> yeah, I, the more we talk about it, I, I might be in agreement with everyone that messaged me. Because <laughs> I would watch this again in a heartbeat. <laughs> no. <Fucking> it's stupid. <laughs> It's funnier to talk about it like this. You're going to watch it and be like, this is infuriating. <laughs> I know we're going to talk about it more in depth, but Michael Myers, I mean, that's always been the case, right? Like, who taught him how to drive? Like, even in the first one, how yeah. did he do that? I know. He's that's been always... in a coma for a year, and now he's fucking cruising around. But then at the end, he's chasing an eight-year-old girl, and he can't fucking hit her. In a, in a car, he can't catch up to her. She's outrunning it. <laughs> Dude. An eight-year-old outrunning a car. A fucking, like... <laughs> and it, it's not even just a car, man. Like, it's a fucking greaser's car. It's like a fucking street car. It's, it's, it's a muscle... It's made for racing. You're, you are correct. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, well, so, Mike, they're all on the loose. Um, and we go to this party that's, I guess, like, just out in the woods. It's not even at somebody's house, because everyone ends up leaving. No one... I don't know. If it's the hermit's house or something, it's, it's, it's in like a. It is like the hermit's house. It's like it's like the mine shaft that Myers <laughs> yeah. fell in. Um, so there's a party there, um, and the cops are there watching to be safe. And we see Michael Myers show up, and the cops get out, pull out their guns, and it's just this goofball dressed up as Michael Myers. Dude, Sean, they're they're fucking playing a scene. Be like. Oh no, it's a virgin, and like he, he, they have like lines that they're practicing with each other to, to fuck with the cops. Like <laughs> I've never seen anything so stupid. It, that it, it's honestly insane. And the cops are like, "You guys are fucking assholes," and they're like, they they're like, "Oh yeah, we're we're really sorry." And then turn and walk away, and then the guy just turns around and is like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> laughs and runs away. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is my this this is my favorite line when the cop the cop is like, "You fucking idiots!" Because first off, I know you already mentioned this town has those masks readily available, which yeah. has to be the most disrespectful thing. Like, could you imagine? We we, we live in a town where there was a, a terrible you know murder, home invasion, right? Like, imagine selling masks of those guys and just fucking wearing it around town. Like, Everyone's uh, wearing them on Halloween. It's the most disrespectful thing I've ever heard in my life. But the, wearing that, the the cop goes, somebody should be dead. But fortunately, we're, we're lousy cops. That's this <laughs> fucking line <laughs> about not killing somebody. <laughs> it's a very telling line. <laughs> We usually just shoot. Don't fucking think about it. <laughs> Don't use critical thinking. Oh, man. A bunch of teens go to a barn. I think because of a cat. I don't know. Yeah, yeah they follow the cat around. <laughs> but you, I want to make fun of, but Buzz would 1,000% oh, do that. If, if there was a cat there, Buzz would make everyone come into the fucking barn. And That's take care of the correct. fucking cat. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Never seen somebody love cats more than, than anyone in my fucking life. It's fucking nuts. Um, Jamie and Billy are also on the loose zone. They're just running around, and I guess it's to save Tina, which again right. would make a lot more sense if that was, if it was Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> Jamie uh, and Billy is this kid that has a stutter and I guess a stutter is a big enough reason to put a kid in a psychiatric ward because that's, <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's where he was <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> Poor fucking Billy. Um, oh dude, wait. So fun fact, the original end of this movie that this idiot wrote was that <laughs> Billy, this doesn't even add up. That Billy was going to be a BMX racer, and he was going to ride his BMX bike up Michael Myers' back like a ramp, and it would it would cause <laughs> it it caused him to fall on his own knife, and that's how the movie would end. Was Billy saving the day with a BMX bike? <laughs> and the only reason they did not go with that ending was because they were like, "Hey, kid, this is what you're going to do," and he's like, "I don't know how to ride a fucking bike." <laughs> That that ending is infinitely more better than any ending <laughs> of any movie. Dude, <laughs> make him fall on his own his own knife. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, somebody riding a bike up you like a <laughs> <laughs> how would they even do that? Even if the kid could ride a bike, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I wish so bad that's what we got. Yeah, we 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 need a director's cut. <laughs> do we do so badly even though he didn't film it <laughs> even though he didn't do shit and then said rob zombie made the exact same movie <laughs> <laughs> um anyway uh so they're out looking for tina which again not doesn't make a ton of sense michael uh pitchforks uh the guy uh one of the guys one of the the guy that was dressed up as michael myers um who's having sex in the barn um <laughs> he, he 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 stabs him with a pitchfork. Uh the girl who was Tina's friend is screaming and he fucking sling blades her ass with a and you know we've always said scythe on this show and uh we've recently been corrected by our Discord crew that it's scythe. Dude, the most idiotic again. Cuz because I thought they corrected us in the saying it was scythe. So I've still been calling it Scythe. <laughs> but now I remember the conversation. It's fucking it's silent. And they they were yeah. all like, what's wrong with you two? That sounds you so fucking- much... Oof. Scythe sounds dumb. Uh, fuck Scythe. There's no fucking edge to Scythe. Sky- Sk- scythe is so much more menacing. Yes, I fuck Right? And I mean, that I guess it's really consonant not... in the middle. <laughs> it's not meant to be menacing. It's a fucking tool, but... It's a farmer tool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not I, meant to kill people. <laughs> I agree with you completely that it should be Skype. It, it, everyone was like, "Come on, guys, get a grip!" And we were like, "What the yeah, fuck?" Yeah, listen, a fucking farm experts. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking seat. Fuck, uh, uh, raise your hand if you've ever fucking held one, or even see. Have you ever seen one in person? <laughs> no, no. 
No, of course not. They're not they're fucking outdated 200 years ago. <laughs> Have you ever seen the competitions of guys using those? <laughs> Dude, you YouTube it. it. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking nuts. There's competitions where guys have to like clear like I want to say it's like probably like 600 square feet of grass with a with a fucking scythe. And they dude, it's just like eight farmers with it. They do it in like seconds. It's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. It's it's honestly the the, the greatest tool known to man. <laughs> um Anyway, Tina goes in to check on her friends, finds a cat covered in blood, which to that she's like, oh, my God. The cat's fine, by the way. The cat just has blood on her. But she's like, holy shit. But then two fucking bodies fall on top of her. And she's like, huh. (laughs) That's weird. (laughs) She runs away. Um, She runs out. The cops are dead. Everyone's gone from the party. So it's just her, Michael, and soon to be uh, our two courageous kids. Uh, Jamie and Billy. Um, yes. Let's stop naming kids Billy in movies, too. It's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> no offense to anyone named Billy, but it's just <laughs> like little Billy is just so like, come on. So Michael's back in his fucking Dragula. Um, and he starts fucking chasing Tina in a car, but not running her over. <laughs> and this one is the most absurd because they're just on a clear, they're in a clear path. And he is very clearly not running her over, like, uh, purposefully. And again, he has no connection to Tina. Who the fuck is Tina? Is probably going through his head. He's probably like, who is this woman I'm chasing? (laughs) (laughs) Why am I doing this? How did we get to this point? What is what is my life even about? I don't even. I won't. I I slept for a year, and now I'm just mad, mad at everybody. And he's about to get her, and then Billy and Jamie come out, and they're like, come for us. And Michael's like, okay, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Also, uh, a scene that they didn't film but were supposed to was that Michael was going to run Billy over (laughs) in this scene. (laughs) Which would have added to the, you know, heightened the stakes a little bit. Dude, I also heard that they didn't have, like, stunt people for this scene, so it was actually... You know, the actors that's, and the kids just running in front of a moving car. <laughs> Wait, that's insane. Wait, oh fuck. Was it this one? I do I no, I think I think it was both four and five. Fuck. I I wish I had time to have done this today instead of fucking sleeping and being sick. They both had like severe stunt injuries. Um in both of them. And I'm pretty sure dude, it's this one. It's this one. Oh my god. So oh my god, this is okay, so here it is. Um, Donald Shanks, who played uh, Michael Myers, was injured filming the scene where Michael crashes the Camaro into a tree because the director forgot to yell cut (laughs) (laughs) and fire fire was coming out of the car and (laughs) Shank and and fucking the director was not doing anything or paying attention. And finally, the stunt coordinator was like, you need to yell cut. And multiple people got injured at that scene. I think the girl that plays Tina got injured in the scene, too. And the car almost ran over her. <laughs> what, dude, imagine being on this film. I'm pretty sure uh, Pleasance injured somebody, too. Yeah, like, he broke Michael Myers' fucking nose. That's it. That's- <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, it's for the worst scene in the movie. It's for the worst scene in the movie when he breaks his nose. Which, I I guess I could say it, but when he starts hitting Michael with a fucking 2 by 4 like a foam 2 by 4 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when he broke his fucking nose. <laughs> Most unnecessary scene in a movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Especially coming from a guy that's like, this guy's not fucking human. But <laughs> then, in his final fight with Michael, he's just hitting him with a, a block of fucking wood. <laughs> yeah, this is the only way I know how to kill... Fucking undestroyable creatures. <laughs> oh my god. What a what a movie this had to have been to be on, huh? I would have loved it. <laughs> um also Je- Pleasance fucking dies in this movie and then shows up two minutes later. Yeah. 
uh pleasance dies in this <laughs> yeah yeah and then pleasance dies again at this movie and then shows up in the next movie yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> oh man um yeah fucking ridiculous uh i'm just trying to read oh the reason this director got the job because deborah hill uh really liked him uh, why? I, I don't know. This was also Deborah Hill's last involvement in the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, yeah, like, why is she even? She had sold the the rights at this point, didn't she? No, she. Um, oh yeah, yeah, she did before four. I don't yeah. know. I I don't know. I guess she, she was involved somehow because she met this idiot listen, at Sundance. Listen, to, to be honest, if I like created one of the best things ever and then sold the rights, I would honestly just make sure nobody outdid me any chance I could get. Oh, like, oh this guy's a real good fit. And just <laughs> point to the biggest scrub in the room. Hey, uh, <laughs> I've got a guy for you. <laughs> he wants to uh, make Michael human. Just fucking hire this guy. He's got big it's ideas. It's going to be great. <laughs> Big fucking ideas. He killed three people on his last set. It's fine. Don't just ignore that. <laughs> oh man. Um. So Michael's chasing these kids. They can't out. Or they. I'm. I'm sorry. That is an untrue statement. They absolutely outrun a car. Um. And and, and also they start running through a f- what appears to be a Christmas tree, uh, farm. And Michael yeah. is just mowing down trees somehow <laughs> with his fucking car. <laughs> Which you could say. That's how the kids could outrun a car, and you're right. However, the kids were outrunning him in the car constantly throughout the, this entire thing. Like they're going through multiple terrains. Like he could have run Correct. over way before the trees. F- it would have taken yeah. him maybe thirty seconds to run over an eight year old. Dude, dude, put my kid on a street. I, he's done. Thirty seconds. Me behind him right, in a fucking Volkswagen. All right. Like this guy's got a fucking muscle car. <laughs> they're all dead. And this movie would be over, <laughs> but it's not. There's actually so much left to talk about. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, Michael uh, kills Tina with like, dude, uh, with a knife that you see bend in this scene. Um, at least that's what it looked like to me. It looked like it was a plastic knife that bent. Um, but she takes a knife through the heart. Um, and somehow Jamie and Billy get away or. Billy fell on the ground. I don't know what happens to Billy. I'm going to be honest. Oh, I don't think I do either. Oh, Billy goes back to the clinic uh, somehow. That that's actually insane. That's actually a fucking major cuz he he falls, right? When Myers is chasing them and he's like hurt. And and then later though, later Jamie has a vision of him in the in the psych ward being and that's why she's they send all the cops there cuz she's like Billy's in trouble type of thing. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Somehow he got transported out of there. And and meanwhile, fucking Jamie goes to Loomis. Ooh, dude, there's fucking cops. You go to Loomis and he's like, please kill Michael. And he's like, don't worry. I know how. <laughs> Which he said fucking th- three other separate years that he's been doing this. And uh, he begins stalking the old Myers house. He, they're, they're the him and the cops. They're all huddled up in the Myers house, ready to, <laughs> ready to shoot Michael again because that always works. <laughs> also, this <laughs> seems like a repeat of part four, the end of part four. I know they weren't in a safe. They, they're in a much shittier, less safe house, but they were it, like part four is the same shit, right? Like them and the cops in a house. Correct. Like. Being like Michael's gonna come here, and we'll that's how we'll get him. It doesn't really work out too great. Um, Jamie has visions from Billy, so he, the cops all go there except for a few. Um, but that's a ruse, I guess, because somehow Michael is here killing the cops at the, at the Meyer house. Um, and Myers eventually gets in, and Loomis and him have like a fucking heart to heart. It's the dude. Him and Loomis talk for like. I mean, Loomis just talks, of course, because that's that's what he does best. Loomis just fucking chats him up for like a few minutes, 
just being like, Michael. I don't even know what he's saying. He's talking about how Jamie will take the rage away. <laughs> Which, like, why does he know? Why does he think that? Just making shit up. <laughs> this is the shittiest psychologist. He's like, I know she'll take the pain away, but you can't do it. Like, what the fuck are you talking? Like, Michael must be like, do you think my, I bet you when Michael talks to Loomis, he's actually laughing under the mask. He's probably like, is this guy fucking for real? Is this, <laughs> this guy keeps that's, trying that's to the reason why, dude, that's the, that's the reason why he hasn't, he doesn't kill him. Just dude. for the comedic, the comedic value in his life. <laughs> wouldn't you, dude, I wouldn't, I would be like, dude, this guy, <laughs> this guy can never kill me. He's an idiot. <laughs> but he is the funniest motherfucker. Every time I've tried to kill this guy three times, and he still comes up to me and is like, "Michael, please." <laughs> I, I would love him. Yeah, I would, have- I would never kill that guy. I'd be like, "This is the funniest shit." I've just murdered fifteen people. This guy's like, "I know you didn't mean it." <laughs> also, also, Loomis tips him off to like everything that he needs to know. Anyways, just oh, explains wait. everything. Oh, you're everyone totally that right. he's looking for. <laughs> Listen, I have Jamie right here. Yeah. At one point, he, at one point, he's holding her, Jamie, up. You're like, you want her? Come and take her. Like, yeah, yeah, I do want her, Loomis. That's, that's my entire motivation. Oh right my now. god, that's so funny. Yeah, he's like, he's like, listen, little Jamie's upstairs. Do not go kill her. <laughs> and he's like, fucking sick. Thank you. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Uh, he ends up slashing Loomis, smashing him into a window, and throwing him off a balcony. Don't worry. L- Loomis is fucking fine. 80-year-old <laughs> man fucking taking that abuse. Um, <laughs> Michael does get into Jamie's room, and he's shot again. But this time, it doesn't phase him at all. Um, and he also doesn't have a weapon, so he just gets into a battle of fisticuffs with his cop. Um, fucking <laughs> hangs him with a rope ladder out the window, which it's whatever. It's effective. Um, yeah, <laughs> dude, Michael is like this movie is not even like close to any other movie, man. Like it's like Michael's not even doing like Michael shit, you know? Like I love Michael Meyer <laughs> kills. I I do like I do love when he kills somebody. And like I didn't. I don't think there's a single kill in this where I was like, "That's like a Michael kill." You know what I mean? Like, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Just constantly. it's very out of place in in the Myers universe. Yeah. Also, you know what else really stood out to me during this scene, especially <laughs> what? How and where does Michael have the time and resources? To get that many fucking candles. Dude, that room that he lures Jamie into, there's like 150 candles that are all lit and they're all different sizes and shapes. Like, where the fuck is he acquiring these? And why is he lighting them all? That's that's actually what Thorne's big thing is. Thorne is actually just fucking candle, distribu- candle distribution. <laughs> Dude, that's I st- their front like 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 when Walter White sets up the uh, yes 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 car wash. Yes, Thorne <laughs> is selling candles. They they have to be a legitimate <laughs> business also. Uh fucking money laundering right. for Thorn. I'm on board. <laughs> Dude, fucking sacrifice sac- sacrificial rituals cost a lot. You got to you got to fucking pay for it somehow. You're right. Yeah, I agree. Um <laughs> Anyway, we get the final fucking showdown with Jamie and Michael where Jamie hides in a laundry chute for fucking 15 fucking minutes. Um, <laughs> and fall, fall, dude, I've never seen more like uh, trap doors. She, she, I feel like she fell like three different times, just from one floor to another to another. Dude, it was like she fall, she's hiding in it, and she falls, and then she climbs up, and then she falls a little bit, and then she climbs up. And we do it, all of this happening, nothing actually happening. Michael trying to grab her, trying to stab the sheet metal. Like, dude, just rip the fuck, dude. There's no, I, there's no way you can, fu- you could just take two hands and rip that whole fucking thing off. <laughs> Especially if you, you're Michael Myers. <laughs> anyway, Michael can't though. And she gets up, to, she gets away, she gets into the attic. Michael gets up there with her. That's, is that where the candles are? Yeah, that's where the candles are, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. And also all the dead bodies of all of her loved ones. <laughs> Um, and she requests to see Michael's face while she's hiding in a coffin and, uh, 
Michael. Uh, she she calls him uncle. Does she know that? She does. Oh. Well, regardless, Michael takes off his fucking mask and just looks like a normal idiot. Uh, fucking ruining everything. It also, by the way, ha- hasn't Michael been burned like a thousand times? Like, this motherfucker <laughs> should have no fucking hair. Anyway, Michael starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a fucking Which, joke. <laughs> it's not. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. And, and I'm talking about it, this whole movie has lightened up the mood. Uh, I cannot express how angry that made me. The, like the last time that I watched this, I watched this two years ago, and I had forgotten that he cried. And the fact that they like zoom in, like it's supposed to be such like an artsy, dude, an artsy farsy shot, like zooming in on that and just having it like drip down. Like go fuck yourself. Are you kidding me? And because and, and now knowing that like the guy's one goal was to humanize Michael Myers, he's really done nothing to humanize Michael Myers. Absolutely, in this not. entire movie. In fact, in fact, he seems more uh, like subhuman than usual. So that's just like the, the, that's like the money shot. This is zoom in on, on him crying to make him more human. He was just shot in the chest or face. Uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, uh, he he's not human. <laughs> Oh man, I'm fucking crying because the girl called him uncle. And they're like, <laughs> you looked, you looked just like me. Couldn't look less alike, by the way. <laughs> like, we can see both of them on the in the shot. Uh, yeah, and uh, but don't worry, Michael. For whatever reason, is like, no, never mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> she touches his face and like snaps him out of it. Be like, Ugh. how dare you make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> she tries to kill him. But it's... <laughs> Dude, <he> can... <laughs> the way that he shakes his head at that is so funny. <laughs> Whoa, make... What was I doing? Make my feel my own feelings. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, so she runs away and she's saved by Loomis because they trap Michael in... <laughs> Boy, I wish they had... anyone had thought of this at any point in the last fucking decade of this guy causing havoc. Uh, they stop him by just dropping a giant chain net on him. That's it. <laughs> that's that's all you needed to really subdue Michael Myers. <laughs> the old Looney Tunes trick. And then, and then I think he shoots him with tranquilizers. That he does. He does. Which doesn't do anything. And then starts hitting him with a two by four, screaming, "Die, die, die!" <laughs> die. <laughs> Loomis, you've done nothing to kill him. You shot him with tranquilizers, and now you're hitting him with a fucking piece of wood. You literally have shot him so many times in all of these movies. <laughs> now you're like, you know what? This piece of wood. This is really what's going to fucking do it. And he still doesn't die. He gets fucking arrested. He gets arrested. Thrown in jail with his mask. <laughs> with his mask. Because, you know, <laughs> you know how they love to let prisoners just <laughs> be themselves, you know? Just express for the, themselves. For their mug shot. For their mug shot. <laughs> <laughs> for booking yeah hey uh hey, you can leave that on that's fine we don't <laughs> it's kind of his thing yeah it's his trademark <laughs> yeah i mean we if we don't have a picture of the mask you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um the jamie is also at the police station and the cop's like hey uh i'll be right back and goes inside um and then we see a thorn guy, the thorn, the thorn guy go in and just start shooting everyone through a, like a, a slot in the <laughs> fucking, a slot in the fucking, uh, prison door. He's just killing Bringing everyone. that guy back at this point. <laughs> it's Again, embarrassing. You, you said it like this guy, I've never seen this happened in a movie before where it's so clearly like the, the director's like, cause, cause there's no way he signed on for another picture right? no. at this point. No. He's just like, I gotta, I gotta secure the bag. Like I gotta <laughs> make sure they have to bring me back to explain what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Which they probably had a meeting with him, like pretending they were going to sign him to the next one. And they were like, Hey, so what was your plan with Thorn? And he was probably like, oh, that's the funny part. I don't have one. And they were probably like, great, thank you. That's all we need to know. <laughs> we're we're going to move on from here. Thank you. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> Thanks for confirming that. Um, but yeah, this guy kills all the cops and then fucking Jamie, who's like, you know, Jamie's not a fucking idiot. And also, Hey, by the way, has a telepathic connection with Michael. So should be able to see what's going on in there. Um, but doesn't. And instead is like, <laughs> instead is like, Hey, what's all the fuss about? And <laughs> decides, <laughs> decides to go into the room. Such a good point. Shots. Such a good point. Get, see everything the guy's done for this entire fucking movie. And now it's like, <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> uh, yeah, I should probably check in on these other guys with guns that aren't coming out to save, save me. <laughs> uh, she walks in, um, and we see Michael has been sprung from jail. And Jamie yes. says, "No, no, 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 no," and that's that's it. <laughs> it's fucking. That's Halloween Five, the best Halloween of all time. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you all. I appreciate everyone that said that they like it, but um, get a fucking grip. <laughs> this movie sucks. <laughs> oh, man. What a trip. What a trip. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't discourage somebody from watching it, but just know it's for the wrong reason. I'd say like, like you you should watch it, but not because it's a good movie or a good installment. He, here's my problem. Probably have fun with it. Here's my problem with it. It's fine, right? Like it's fine to check in on the Thorn trilogy every once in a while. Check out four, five, and <laughs> yeah, six. Yeah. But like, there's so many issues I have with this idea of the Thorn trilogy because they weren't like Thorn was not a thing. Like it, it calling it the Thorn trilogy is nuts. Because there was no plan for Thorn at all. And this guy just included a couple tattoos and like somehow they tricked fans into being like, oh yeah, don't worry, that's that's the Thorn story arc. Don't that's that's cool, don't worry. And there's some people that are like, yeah, totally. No, no, no. You four has no mention of it. Five, it's just tattoos, and this guy that they just did. It, it, it's insane. Oh my goodness. I really want to watch six now, though. Um, I do too. I do too. I might watch it this week. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to do it because we did it right before our uh, run end, our first run ended. Yeah, I I need to I need to check it out though because oh man, I just need to check it out. I, I need to see where this like how because now that I know the background of five and how none of it was planned, I just want to see like wh- where they. Th- I want to see what they did and figure out why they were like, this will do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might have to watch it this week. I might do it this week. Um, and maybe, maybe for Patreon, we didn't do a Patreon this week cause I'm, I'm not feeling great, but, um, uh, maybe we do six for Patreon again, just like kind of like with four and five, like kind of fresh in our heads. Yeah. I'm down with that. Dude, there's so much information on this. I don't know if we even talked about this. Tarantino was involved in this? In what, part six? Yeah. What? <laughs> He's such an asshole. Of course wait, wait. Can I tell you his script idea? Oh, my God. This is my favorite script idea ever. Honestly, Joe, this... Tarantino's not wrong for going this route, because he's probably, like, not the biggest Halloween fan. Probably watched four and five and was like, this makes sense. <laughs> Tarantino's script involved Michael Myers and the man in black fleeing Haddonfield together and going on a road trip down Route s- <laughs> down Route 66 while murdering people. <laughs> but he was never officially hired. <laughs> Yo, like he probably saw him hanging out with the fucking guy in a cave and was like, Michael loves bonding experience. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, that's just Tarantino being a fucking asshole. Because I distinctly remember when they hired Daniel Craig as James Bond, and Tarantino released a statement being like, "You guys had no business getting rid of Pierce Brosnan, and now I'll never make my James Bond movie." And like everyone involved was like, Tarantino was never in talks to make a James Bond movie. So I don't, I don't know what he's going on about. <laughs> you know, he just writes fan fiction. <laughs> that's pretty much, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Dude, the idea of this concept in writing is absolutely fucking insane. Oh my god. Wait, Myers John Carpenter. Black. John Carpenter. 
Dude, going on a road trip? That's the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. John Carpenter wanted to return. Okay, so, like, here's another thing. And, and I love John Carpenter, right? But everyone that's like John Carpenter, like, all, his proposed plan for this movie was to put it in a space station. And, and, and the cod was like, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> The idea may have been referenced in a scene in which a conspiracy theorist calls Barry Sims radio. Oh. Oh, in the in six, they re- somebody like calls into a radio station and is like, let's launch Michael Myers in space. Dude, other <laughs> other other concepts for, for part six included Dr. Loomis being found to be Michael was Dr. Loomis's son. And another one where the Michael Myers' mother was being kept as a sex slave by the <laughs> by the by the man in black. My, wait, Michael Myers' mother, the one. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! Michael Myers is a sex slave to the man in black. <laughs> Let's get Tarantino on the show. I just want to pitch all these fucking side ideas. So. Did Tarantino would probably eat up that that idea of making a movie about the, uh, one year it, oh. is one year time with uh, with the hermit. Absolutely, absolutely. So, still somehow figure out a way to say the n word. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the hermit played by by Michael Madsen. <laughs> Dude, for sure, just dragging on cigarettes the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh I wish I wish we could talk to these people. <laughs> <laughs> so they could be like, please don't ever contact me again. T- tickling Michael's toes while he's I, 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 honestly no. If Tarantino had the gall to be offended by that, I'd be like, Tarantino, you, you wanted Michael to go on a fucking road trip with a guy. <laughs> oh Thelma <and> Louise. <laughs> Dude, Michael wearing a like a babushka on his head or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Now Brad Pitt rep- reprises his role. Oh my god! The truck, the trucker in the room next to him. That's fucking amazing! <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, uh, Tarantino's rejected screenplay bears a resemblance to a screenplay for Natural Born Killers, which he was pitching. Also, dude, so he didn't. He, dude, he was probably like, no one wants to make this Natural Born Killers movie. Hey, hey uh, I'm gonna make it with Michael Myers. Do you do you do you want to make it now? <laughs> Probably like, You're probably right. You're probably right. And they were like, of course not. And he's like, well, worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, all right, fine. We'll just make the normal one. Just stop. Just stop <laughs> messaging us. <laughs> oh, man. That was fun to talk about. I didn't think it was going to be fun to talk about. Um, but that was great. Oh, we haven't talked yeah. to anyone about what's coming up this month. Oh, well, yeah. So. so- so a few announcements. Uh, new shirt pre-orders will probably be launched by the time the next episode drops. Um, and nice. sick design again by our buddy Sour Eyes. Uh, she makes great stuff, and we're gonna have new stickers out too um, from our friend Ill Trace. Um, so we got some new stuff coming out. So keep an eye on it next week. We'll probably launch that, and then we'll probably ship pre-orders um, end of the month. Um, Check out the Instagram at I Hate Horror to see those. Um, we posted that. It's it's pretty dope. Um, and then, you know, you you gotta stack your your October bill when you're a horror podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so stack it. We did. Uh, we did. <laughs> I guess we have Halloween Town two next week. This is wait. We're doing that next week. Yeah, because because the new Halloween comes out next week. I know, but I want to give people some time to watch it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know. I thought the same thing, but but we yeah we'll we'll do Halloween. Do you want to do Halloween Kills next week? Wait, what day does it come out? Does it come out the fifteenth? Um, I thought it came out the ninth. I could be dead wrong. Hang on, I'm checking it out. I'm checking it out. Maybe I'm thinking of the Muppets movie. Oh yeah, no, it's the fifteenth. 
So, so okay. So, Halloween Town 2 for sure next week. Um, okay. And that's Calabar's Revenge. We've covered the first one. I'm so excited to run out of Disney Halloween movies, but I don't <laughs> think it'll be anytime soon. Uh, Two more Halloween Town movies. I, I know. It's, I'm so, so excited. Uh, Mom's got a date with a vampire. <laughs> Sorry, Caroline Ray. With that little idiot. Oh, by the way, no, 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 no that's Lula's vampire. Dude, Lula, dude, oh, vampire cows. In that? Uh, we have we not done that? Oh, of course we haven't fucking done that. <laughs> Lula's vampires are great. Um, no, no, no. I want to do Scream Team um, next year because that's got Tommy Davidson in it. Okay, and that's a Disney that one. That's a Disney one. I just love Tommy D, baby. Um, so, uh, well, anyway, w- let's not plan for next year. <laughs> let's get through, let's <laughs> let, let's get through the next four weeks. <laughs> um, so, Halloween Town Two is next week. After that, um, so I'll, we'll think about it. But so the next episode after that releases on the nineteenth. So that would be four days after Halloween Kills is out. Okay. We could do Halloween Kills, that means, for sure. But it's literally coming out the day, like, we like it's coming out two days before we even record. It's coming out that Friday. Uh, we, we could always throw up a Instagram poll. Yeah, let's do that. People, let's do that. See how people feel about it. Yeah, because we, we can do it either that week or the week after. Um, I think everyone will end up catching up and wa- listening to it anyway. Mm, so You know what? Maybe, maybe it's better to do it the week after because it's okay. closer to Halloween. Right. That's true. That's true. Um, so in that case, we're going to be doing Haunted Ween <laughs> after <laughs> Halloween Town 2. <laughs> this movie, guys. I, Sean, it, Sean said that to me. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I looked it up and I was like, oh my God, uh, why have we not done this already? It's insane. It looks absolutely insane. Um, and, and I do, I wish I could shout out the fan. I Dude, I actually pulled it from... Um, I found our list of Patreon, um, ep- like old list of, of people's Patreon picks from like a million years ago. Um, and I was like just cruising through that for maybe some Halloween ideas and somebody had a ha- haunted ween on there. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And I looked it up. It looks so unbelievably stupid. I can't even, I, <laughs> I, I can't even. I can't even tell you. It's it's really tough to find, but you can find it out there. I think it is on YouTube also. Um, looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm super excited to do it, though. Um, Haunted Ween. Then Halloween Kills. Our f- th- this is our first movie, I think, that we've ever done in the same year as the release date. Oh, wow. Is that true? I don't think we've ever done, like, a current movie. Um, huh. And especially one like two weeks after it came out, we've never even we've never even I don't think we've even come near that. Um, honestly, I think ho- like the Halloween twenty eighteen was probably like one of the like the most recent ones. We yeah, did. yeah, and that even that was two years after. Yeah, so th- this is this is kind of wild. Um, and then for our live show, which I believe we're gonna do it on a Friday, but. I'll iron it out with Joe. It's either Friday the 29th or Saturday the 30th. Um, we will be doing, and this is Joe, fucking all Joe here. Can't fucking brilliant. Teen Witch from, what year is that from? 1989. Uh, it's definitely the 80s. 89. Oh, <laughs> Dude, for that to come out in 89, it's fucking obscene. I would have guessed like 83. <laughs> hey, you've got. You've got a. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Who is this? You got Zelda Rubenstein in it. You do? You do? You have Blake Lively's sister in it. Yep. Dan Gauthier. Gauthier? Gauthier? Is he related to Mark? What are you saying? What? Wait, for the kid from, from our school? <laughs> no, isn't Mark Gauthier from Saved by the Bell? <laughs> Paul Gosling? Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> oh, no, I'm listen, uh, listen, top that is going to be a great watch along. Uh, if you like cheese for your Halloween, 
It's perfect. Tina fucking loves this movie. Uh, the top that scene alone is worth the price of admission if you've never seen it. All right, so make sure you guys come out to that. I'll set that up immediately so you guys can all get in on that. Oh, dude, this guy Dan, he was fucking Travis and son-in-law. <laughs> you, you're right. You're right. He is. I fucking love son-in-law. It's so good. So um, Tina. I'm trying to look up this girl, Tina Kasperi. She looks super familiar. She's in it. Oh, she's in Mac and Me. And my mom's a werewolf. Have we never done Mac and Me? We have not. And that sounds like a great live show. Mac and Me would be a great live show. Mac and Me is fucking insane. <laughs> Also, um, this is this is definitely in advance, but we are going to be doing a free live show in December. Did we talk about what that we were going to do? I don't believe so. All right, free live show. That's a Christmas movie, uh, Mac and Me. That dude. That's. I, I think we should just leave it up to the people, and we'll come up because I'm pretty sure you told me an idea for that, and we were like, "Yeah, let's do that for free." I feel like I 100 percent did, but I don't know. Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out. It was some, ask Tina. She'll definitely know. Be like, Tina, what movies did you recently say we should do for the show? And if you, it'll, it'll do Because that's where it came from, for sure. Because whenever I get a text from you that's like, hey, you know this a <laughs> fucking ridiculous movie that no one knows about? It's not related to horror. Can we do it for the show? It's always from Tina. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, and we, but I was like, "Let's do it for the live show because that's fucking awesome." I feel like it was horror though, Christmas horror. I don't, don't. We'll just put everyone to sleep and watch the uh, Kirk Cameron saving Christmas. Well, we're doing, we're putting people to sleep right now, just fucking talking about nothing. <laughs> you're right, you're right. It's been going on for, um, yeah. Join our live show. <laughs> <laughs> just planning. <laughs> Dude, pull, pulling the old Halloween, Halloween 5 move He's <laughs> making up as we go <laughs> Alright everyone Thank you so much for listening Appreciate you I hope you enjoyed Halloween 5 So many people wanted to hear us talk about it um, I hope we didn't um, lose some fans Which we probably did Because we do every week And uh, But we appreciate oh, you Dude that guy who loves the Halloween series Just <laughs> stumble across us again Oh, oh fuck Oh, fuck. The, guy was- <laughs> the guy that was like, I found you because I wanted to hear insight into Halloween. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope he forgets that he already found this and stumbles across it again. <laughs> he probably fucking what? Like, who? I mean, what person is like, I need to learn everything about Halloween right now? <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. That's it, guys. Uh, Facebook.com slash I Hate Horror, I Hate Horror.com, where you can buy our tickets to our live shows. And uh, keep an eye out for our merch. I'll probably set up a link there this week um, to sign up to get notified for the merch drop. So keep an eye out there. Um, Instagram.com slash I Hate Horror, Twitter.com slash I Hate Horror Show. And I think that's it. Joe, where can they find you? Um, Instagram, Boognish1985. My boy, Boog. Um, oh, fuck. Are we doing Teen Witch live together with Paul? Well, shit. I feel like we have to. All right. We'll talk about it. Well, uh, I mean. It doesn't well, matter. He's not going to show up. He's going to be. Fuck you know how up. fucking impossible it's going to be? <laughs> <laughs> fucking. He's, uh, can't even remember your kid's birthday party. Fucking. <laughs> Day of the live show, he'll be like, wait, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Wish I was invited. Did you, did you send me an invite? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, Thanks, Joe, for, as always, uh, for, for doing the show with me. And for Joe, this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Adios. Fucking zombie getting sliced and diced. The monster. Butcher and butcher and butcher and butcher and butcher and butcher.